Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. No, I'm sorry. I didn't see a dog. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep him company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. I could be convinced to catch him. Oh. It's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Okay. Fair enough. Find the dog outside Falkreath. Gotta go towards my blue mark. Let's go find this dog, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for me? Yeah, I think it'll be just what I need. You see, my name is Bobbit, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Uh, so what could a dog need help with? My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument, and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Ah, uh, so uh, sounds easy enough. Let's go find him. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. This works out. I'll make sure you're rewarded. You just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Okay, a Daedra's best friend. Here we go. We'll fo follow Barbus, the talking dog. Okay, so now we've followed Barbus to Heimer's Cavern. And keep in mind, Barbus is a talking dog outside of Falkyrie. We got some vampires in here. That was a vampire style. Gotta loot this chest quick. Alright, let's go this way. Work our way through. Hello? Who's there? Thought I heard oh, I didn't know I was gonna come from above. How did I not see that? Got the vampire fledgrind. A gentleman's guide to white run. We'll take this and we'll read it sometime. All right, onward. We're supposed to, we're coming to the shrine of Cla Clavicus Vile. Clavicus Vile. We're just beating everybody up in here. Blooded vampire. Who is that guy? Well, why was... He was like being controlled by that vampire. Let's search his chest. Don't need that. I gotta be very 
picky about what I carry because I'm carrying a lot of crap. Barbus is getting ahead of me. Okay. Good, she's dead. I'm about to die if I don't eat something. And some healing. Let's level up. About to die. I think I just wasted two minor healing potions, but okay. Alright. Let's check out what's over here first. The bandits are dead. The vampires must have killed the bandits. In response to Barrow's speech. Potion of healing. I think that's all I want out of here. Onward. Heimer's shame. There's a frostbite spider. Or nice friendly frostbite spider. Always so friendly. Keep going. Where's Barbus at? There's a weird looking arcane enchanter. Check out that book. Alright. sneak attack that's all that did they're fighting the dog master vampire gotta take them all out let me loot this stuff first before we continue Flawless Amethyst. Up here there should be one guy, or one girl, I mean. Alright. Let me search this Imperial. Activate the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. Lord Vile, I have a request of you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Okay, it sounds like Barbus. It's actually, like the voice of the dog, the talking dog, is actually Clavicus Vile. I'm just here to reunite you with Barbus. Or should I say, at the end, to end the civil war that plagued my land. Let's go. The power to crush all before me. Really? Power? You are a dragonborn. You already have more power than most people who are immense fire-breathing monsters. As much as I hate to say it, you're almost as powerful as I am right now. But that's just because half of my power resides in that muck barbus. Hey, come to think of it, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. Uh, what's your offer? There's an axe. 
an incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. Sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Retrieve the rueful axe with Barbus. So Barbus is half of Clavicus Vile. They're like the same people, kind of. Sort of. Let's look at this chest. Amethyst, gold, lesser soul gem. Alright, where's the pull chain? Right there. So now we have to go retrieve, retrieve the Ruleful Axe with Barbus, which is all the way up there. Holy cow. In Rhyme Rock Burrow. Alright, so. We are continuing the Daedra's Best Friend quest, and we are now at the... We are at... What is it called here? Let me check. Rhyme Rock Burrow to retrieve the Rueful Axe with Barbus. The Talking Dog. I'm going to get my bow out because I have a feeling I'm going to run into some people that I can sneak attack. Oh, it's a flame atronach. This is surprisingly difficult. I'm already taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Sebastian Bort. Allow me to introduce you to my fists before I die. Potions of healing. I believe killing him took out the flame atronox. Or it should, but I don't know if it did for sure or not. Alright, so I think everybody's dead. I think. Here we have the Rueful Axe. Let me check out the Rueful Axe. Does 20 points of stamina damage, and it looks pretty damn badass. Now we have to return the shrine, or return the axe to Clavicus Vile with Barbus. Here we go, here's the shrine. So we've got the Rueful Axe. Now let's talk to Clavicus Vile again. Ah, you've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. We're back. Now fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... Storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. <laughs> Why do I have to kill Barbus? I'm not killing the dog. I refuse. No deal. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I know I can trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe, everyone's happy. 
Just get over here, Matt. They're not the same person, actually. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you. Now you trust me. All right, Barbus. Oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. Now, as for your wish, power was it? You can be part of a tremendous power. All you have to do is let your soul be absorbed by this axe. I never said it would be your power. Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Hmm. Mask of Clavicus Vile added. So, by doing the Daedra's best friend, you get the Mask of Clavicus Vile. If I can go find it. Here it is. It's a helmet. It's a pretty badass helmet, actually. Prices are 20% better. Increases speech skill by 10 points. And Magicka regenerates 5% faster. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like on body. That's what it looks like right there. So, that was the Daedra's best friend, or a Daedra's best friend. And to conclude, Barbus and Clavicus are actually not the same person, but like they were separated, and Barbus was a talking dog. So, yeah, there's an actual talking dog in Skyrim.